Welcome back to your Carolina. We're live in Calpins here for our zip trips where we're taking trips to different zip codes in our area, celebrating all the things that our great towns have to offer. And today it's all about Calpins and the Mighty Moo Festival. We wanted to learn a little bit more about the Mighty Moo Festival. So we have Jan Humphreys here with us. Tell us a little bit more about that. Jan, good to see you. Thank you so much for having us in Calpins. We appreciate y'all being here. <laughs> yes. You always know when someone's not from Calpins, when they like Calpins <laughs> instead of Calpins. Calpins. <laughs> <laughs> it just rolls off of the tongue. Well, we're excited. So excited to be here. Everyone knows maybe about the Mighty Moo Festival, but they may not know where the Mighty Moo Festival came from. Of course, it has uh, roots with the Revolutionary War. Exactly. Where it started was in, seven, in 1976 for the country's bicentennial. Uh, the Historical Society at that time here in town thought, why don't we reach out to some of the crew that served on the ship during World War II? Mm -hmm. So the next year, in uh, 77, they mailed out flyers or mailed out notes mm -hmm. to various newspapers across the country looking for crewmen that served on the CVL 25 during World War II mm -hmm. and invited them to come. They, there ended up being one gentleman came, they went to the battleground, had a picnic lunch, and that was the first year, and today, this weekend, is our 45th consecutive year. That's remarkable, and, and, and so it was really a homecoming, a celebration yes. for those the, those soldiers coming home. Yes, well, military is very strong on reunions, but we are the, we claim and we know, <laughs> we're the only reunion, military reunion, held at the same place, the same year, you know, every year, this constant for mm -hmm. 45 years, because we started out celebrating the World War II ship and crew, and we still do, mm -hmm. but now we call it our new ship, but she's been in service for 31 years. <laughs> <laughs> so the younger sailors, we celebrate too. So it's, a, it's just a continuation of honoring their service to us. It's really fantastic, and the whole town comes out. People from nearby towns and cities come by as well. Let's talk about some of the things that's gonna be happening for folks that wanna bring their families out to celebrate this. Right. We have the rides behind us, so we know those are gonna be getting started tonight. Uh, tell us some of the things that will be going on this weekend. All right, tonight is the rides, and I believe they have wristbands for like $20 for kids, um, or they can buy them a dollar a ticket mm -hmm. for rides. Uh, the music will be going on. We have, a, I don't know, I don't have it in front of me, but I don't know, if, I think it starts at seven. Mm -hmm. Music at the stage, it's back line, back line. Mm -hmm. And if I'm saying that incorrectly, I'm so sorry. You know, the websites are great resources, right? They can just go there and, Please. <laughs> and Please. look at all of that. But, but really, it's just gonna be a great time to come here, some live yeah. music, lots of vendors with food and things going lots on as well. Food trucks, lots of vendors, fried Oreos, you know, <laughs> all the good stuff. And then tomorrow, you guys are doing the parade as well. We have the parade. We have 12 members from our CG63 in San Diego, the, the commanding officer, Elisa Armstrong is the XO on the ship. She's here, she's brought 11 crew. Five or six of them are part of their band and they're gonna play for us tomorrow. Awesome. They're gonna be in the parade and then after we do our veterans recognition service where we celebrate all veterans, mm -hmm. they'll be on the stage and play a set for us. That's gonna be an, an amazing time. Oh, it's be and it's wonderful. it's a great time to, to bring the whole family out and maybe explore a town that you've never been to before. But like we say, we talk about, you know, the Battle of Cowpens, the Battle of Kings Mountain, both were turning points in the American Revolution and, and we're lucky to be able to celebrate that history here in our area. So Very it's gonna be so. it's gonna be a great time to be able to do that. We're gonna put the website for you at our website, yourcarolina.tv, so you can look at a full listing of uh, the events that will be happening here so you can come out tonight and tomorrow to celebrate all the things here in, in Calpins. Coming up next on YC, we're going to talk a little bit more about those uh, crew members from the USS Calpins. Jack has the, the privilege of interviewing one. We'll tell you more about that coming up next.